Hey there, either Hold or Fire Familia, and welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to be reacting to the Murder Drones Intermission, a fan episode animatic. I know quite a few of you have been asking me whether I'm going to be reacting to this or not. Uh, I was planning to, and I've been planning to ever since uh, I discovered this, which was back in like February. Um, I remember I was on Twitter and I came across a... It's a screen. I know. I know. B will will know this. Uh, but it was the. Uh, it was like a frame of Uzi just laying fa face down in the snow, and I remember that's when I came across this. And ever since then, I've been supporting B, and I've rooted her on to complete this. Cause, uh, yeah, this is. I've been wanting, especially after finding out it's, it was supposed to be like a bridge between episode four, like the actual series, uh, the canon series, episode four and episode five, it was supposed to be a bridge between the two of them, like Uzi learning how to fly. And I've been wanting something like that from the actual series, but like the fact that B took it on to do it herself, I'm like all for it. It looked amazing from what I saw in the, like as B was working on it. Um, and I was, I've been super excited and um, I know B is wanting me to, wanted me to watch uh do a reaction as well so uh yeah uh i all i know from this is i have unfortunately seen some things on tiktok um like i already knew there's supposed to be like some emotional bits uh in this um that it wasn't all just oh look at how cute uzi is learning how to fly and that kind of stuff like it is gonna there's gonna be drama or something like that and i have seen some like clips of it um, so I, I will not be surprised if I tear up or anything because I am very like y'all know At least the merge on side of my community knows I absolutely love murder drones and I love the characters and Okay, you know, I, I don't want to go on too much because I could say that for after I've watched this because then uh, I feel like I'm probably gonna have quite a bit of say to say not only about the animatic animatic itself, but for the series uh, yeah, Anyway, let's get into it. I'm so excited <laughs> Disclaimer, all rights to Murdones belong to Liam Vickers and Glitch Productions. I am not affiliated with the studio nor Liam. I'm just a fan with too much audacity and brain rot. <laughs> Aren't most of us Murdones fans? Even though I don't think most of us have the capability or, yeah, to, or the talent to do a full animatic. Uh, this episode is not monetized and was made purely for fun. Glitch Productions, I, I, I'm not going to lie, uh, like, not monetizing it, you know, kudos to be. Uh, but I kind of hope there's merch or something, like, uh, you know, like, in B style art style of the characters because I would fully support that because I yeah I feel like this is the kind of stuff that needs to be supported in the fandom um glitch productions I'm begging on my knees right now please do not snipe me I'm just a little guy yeah please glitch productions don't go after B Th this is this is stuff that should be like I honestly hope glitch shouts this out or favorites it or something you know likes it on twitter or whatever because I mean I think they did the same for animated things uh, teaser trailer, uh, for his project, so this deserves it too. And I, I haven't even watched it yet, but I'm telling you right now, I, it, I already think it deserves it. Uh, also this episode is meant to take place between episodes four and five, like I said, I thought. Oh, okay. I recently graduated college, however, I didn't want to leave without making something I was truly proud of. This is what I decided to make during my last semester as my final hurrah. Quite the hurrah. I don't know many, I don't think many graduates do projects like this. I dedicated every day of these past six months to this. It was hard, but it was worth every second. Passion drives me and it led to this. I have more to say, but I'll save that for the end. I look forward to hearing what you have to say, B. I hope you like this. See you on the other side. <laughs> so excited, you have no idea. Here we go. Uh, noise. No, you're not already. You know what? I will pause too because you know you guys know me. You know me. You know, especially with murder drones and how I break stuff down. And I, I, I'm gonna treat this the same way because I feel like I feel like Beef probably has snuck things in here frame by frame if she's following along with the uh, Liam style of stuff. And already, I kind of saw that with the binary, which, what was that? Zero one 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 zero zero one zero zero one. You know what? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. I'm, I'm doing it right now. All right, let's do this. Zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. Okay, what, what is it? No, I want binary to text. R Y. Wait, is this a it, oh, B? Is this an entire message? You did. Hold up, is this an? Nah, it is, isn't it? 
Oh my god, it's gonna be an entire message. Nope, you know what? I'm determined. I'm determined. There's three, three zeros? Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It's four ones that time. Zero, zero, one. One, zero, zero, one. All right, let's see what this turns into. So hungry. So have, wait, what? What, what if I get rid of these last two? So hungry. What's the last one though? So hungry, so have, is this supposed to like be an uwu face or something? Is it supposed to be like Uzi's, uh, you know, the, like, you know, her little face that she made in episode six with the eyebrows and the two dots and the uwu, like the cat face. I think that's what it's supposed to be. So hungry, so, I mean, it could be so hungry, so hungry repeat, but I don't, okay. You know what, I'm also gonna go frame by frame with this to see if it, oh God. <laughs> I don't know if, I feel like it's probably a repeat of So Hungry, So Hungry, because from what I'm seeing so far, it looks like this is probably a flashback or a nightmare that Uzi's having over this, you know, everyone she killed in episode four, which I'm going to guess that's the case. Yeah, okay, I'm going to guess that's the case. So, So Hungry is what I'm going to go based on, or is my guess. Ooh, the core. Oh, you're delving deeper into like the goreness of when Uzi was eating. Oh, I know. You have to pull the more coding, We're more binary code right there. No, no, no. All right. No, I just translated that one. Now you give me a full screen of it. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> We're doing this again. No worry, for y'all watching this on YouTube, it'll be edited down, but... <laughs> yes, those, uh, my patrons, you're gonna have to watch this full thing. I feel like a lot of this is gonna be repeats of, of hungry, like, so hungry. Kudos, though, honestly, to B, for putting, like, being, like, following the show and the whole binary codes and stuff and these, like, frame things. Because, uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know how much of the fandom actually, like, pays attention to that or, like, thinks of those details. Okay, a lot of this feels like repeats, so I feel like this is... You know, I'll take what I've got so far and do it. I feel like it's gonna be so hungry. Too hot, too hot. Okay, so it's a repeat of... Because I'm pre... No, this looks different right here. This last one looks different. You know, I'll follow through with it. I don't know... Wait, what line was I on? Oh, shoot. Third line. Yeah, I'm on the third line. Okay, so it does change. Like, what is a 001... Zero, 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 zero. I don't, okay, you did ha no, I got that one before. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm determined, I'll go all the way through with it. I'm gonna spend like tw 30 minutes on this alone. <laughs> Help. Uh, one, two, three, four, s fourth line, second one in. So was right here. You might say something else. And I swear, if there's one that makes fun of and goes, you actually went through all of this, I will both laugh and cry. Okay, I don't, I'm seeing repeats, so I honestly don't think there's going to be. Okay, so it goes from, like, too hot, too hot, to then capitalization, too hot. Like, it, okay. That's what, I, I'm not going to, I wanted to translate all of it, but I'm just seeing, it's, like, repeating, and I'm seeing that, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to get into caps or something like that. Like, I could translate the last couple lines and see if that changes it. Okay, that's the last. Yeah, it's just it just continues on with the. I'm gonna leave the binary thing open just in case there's any more. But yeah, so it just goes from regular too hot to all caps. I'm honestly already loving this that we're seeing more detail of like Uzi's transformation because we kind. Of, okay, don't get me wrong. The transformation was good in episode four, like the reveal of her wing coming out and everything. Like it was great, but I feel like you're like this is really showcasing just how horrifying it was for Uzi to go through the transformation, which it was scary. Like okay, like you see her panic, run into the cabin, you know, her breaking all the light bulbs and even like being very sensitive to sound and stuff. So you do get you got a taste of it, but I feel like after she's transformed with the wings and. Um, all that stuff. We didn't really see too much of that part, but I feel like by then she might have already been lost, but this, I don't know, this makes me feel more like, ooh, poor thing. 
Music helps. <laughs> Idiot. Wait, what? Jump scare. Okay, I hear the idiot, but the first two words, I... Sounds like did that, or... I don't think it's something that. Is there, is there, uh, captions? Get hacked. Okay, thank you for the, thank you for the captions. Because <laughs> I wasn't, I did not understand that. Get hacked, idiot. Of course. Gotta fall in line with the get hacked, idiot kind of thing that the solver would say. The loading symbol. Ooh, are we gonna get into Uzi having like <laughs> freaking V and N are sleeping upside down in her room? Nah, uh, I've seen this like at least for N. I've seen like people write in fanfics where they have like you know N sleeping in her room or sleeping somewhere in the apartment. But the fact that two of them like this is so cute. Like, oh, I'm already loving this. Also, Pomni and Fortnite 2025. Are you serious? Nah, let's have let's have Murder Jones first, okay? And then and then Digital Circus characters, all right? I want I want that. That's how we'll have a Digital Circus Murder Jones versus. We'll have them be in Fortnite. <laughs> Sleep mode. Oh, come on. Again? <sighs> well, now that I've had my daily virus re removal more. in progress. Bye-bye. Robo Satan. Huh? Re virus removal failed. So this kind of, this, like, shows, like, Uzi is trying to get rid of this virus, but it, she can't, because, yeah, you can't get rid of the solver that way. Ugh. LMAO! I'm gonna blow a freaking f- <laughs> Are you the glitch. The Uzi groan. Of course, Anne would wake up. <laughs> Let's see how to fly. Oh my god. Flying lessons with N lessons with N and V. Such edge. Wow. So flap flap. Wow. So cool. Such bat. Many smiles. Wow. Angel of darkness. Much fly. Wow. <laughs> All the like doge like also the fact that the doge passed away. Like I feel like this is like a good little this is like a good little in honor of this little this like uh, whiteboard is a perfect in honor of Doge. <laughs> so, so much. Flying lessons? With I'm sorry, is freaking V sitting on top? Not sitting on, but like, is there a head of a drone underneath her? Really? <laughs> and she's sucking on a drone's hand. Of course she would be. Also, freaking, I, lo I love, I love having, I love, I love, what would you call it? Not cat Uzi, but like, Frog, frog Uzi. It reminds me of an uh, episode two when we had the flashback of Uzi like in class, and the teacher is like, "Uzi, sit down." And then you see Uzi like sitting, like just like crouched on her desk, and this is like perfect. Like this is so easy. Flying lessons with N and V. I'm sorry, I never signed up for this. <laughs> well, are you trying to like therapize me? Therapize me. Girl, you got therapized in episode four at the end when you two were floating in the air, all right? Lord knows you need the counseling. Right. I think you do too, V, so shut up. <laughs> I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what was that? I saw something. I saw angst something. Angst levels critical. <laughs> Overdose. Init wait, initiating denial underscore protocol dot X. There's so much, you know what? There's so. Uh, I'm gonna have to resist from ranting because it's just. I'm. I'm loving how creative B is with the. Like, I don't know if anyone helped you B with writing the character, like the the scenes and stuff. Or this is like, like, I don't know how much of this was you B and how much like if anyone like because I think I saw briefly like Ghost helped with at least I think the art, but. Like, whoever's writing, like, the details of, like, their visors displaying certain things, like, angst levels critical and, you know, protocol or, like, removal of virus. Like, I love the details like that because that's something that really should be in the show. Shut up! More. I just think maybe we... This is going to film my, like, my newsy love, isn't it? Like, this is, like, I already could tell from some of the uh, frames that I saw that B posted that there's going to be newsy moments in here. I've also heard there's 
envy moments, so I'm curious of those, but I don't think it's going to be, like, envy, like, love, love. I think it's going to be, like, moments that they have where it's just, you know, character growth between the two of them. Um, but, yeah, uh, I, I, this already, like, uh, yes, newsy stuff, please. <laughs> I'm loving it! I mean... Threat detected. Yeah, oh, so we're carrying on the theme of V looking at Uzi as a threat. Yes, please. You know, if we really want to take care of our little feral emo girl problem. Feral emo girl problem! What we could do instead is blow her brains out. V! <laughs> he drags her! <laughs> not hurting Uzi. Why not? Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! 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 <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh my god, can I just say this might actually turn into my favorite like if this was canon, this would be honestly I think my favorite episode already. Like I'm only freaking three three minutes and thirty-two seconds in and I'm absolutely adoring this. Just the characterization and just oh Wow. Have some compassion. She's clearly scared of herself. She's been having night terrors ever since I can hear you guys. <laughs> the field trip incident. <laughs> I know. Her nightly screaming is like white noise to me. It helps me sleep like a baby. Yeah, this is very V. I refuse to believe you actually feel that way. Ugh. Oh, and calling her out like that? Mmm. You seriously have a screw loose if you think I'm going to help a lost cause. Fine. Uh oh. Fine. If not for Uzi, then do it for, for me. For me. Please. Are the grown-ups done talking yet? Oh no, see, we, we, we couldn't have that kind of, we couldn't have Uzi saying grown-ups because the fan, if this was canon and the fandom heard her say, are the grown-ups done talking? Then I could just, the fandom going, oh my god, that's confirmation that N and V are older than Uzi and Uzi's underage, so then you know N and Uzi are, pro I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like that's how the fandom would react, a certain part of the fandom, not all of it. A certain part of the fandom would literally hear those words instead of hearing the sarcasm with Uzi. They would take that literally and go, oh. Confirmation that NMV are adults and that Uzi's underage. I just, yeah. Sooner we start, sooner I can snipe people from unsuspecting height. So this is where one of my viewers got that line from. I was wondering why they were saying that. This, you know, fix my brain and stuff. Fix my CPU. Not the end golden retriever visor. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Fine, <laughs> I'll do it. The tail wag. <laughs> Please, we got Sin with a puppy, like a literal dog image on her visor. Why have we not gotten end with a golden retriever image on his visor? Seriously. <laughs> oh, there's that frame of Uzi looking like a little mischievous kitty. Just <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh, of course, V. Oh, there's the, there's, okay, so that's where this, the frame came from of Uzi being face planted into the snow. It was this one. Let's get this over with. I love how Anne just looks so concerned looking down at her while V's just like, let's just get this done. Keybug! Or roach. The little bean on top of the hill. Or spire of corpses. Uh, and Okay, I will... I've already seen this, like, for the teaser and stuff. I will say this. I kind of wish we got to see, like... Okay, I know that this is already plenty enough. Trust me. I'm not I'm not saying that, that, that V, like, didn't do enough or anything. I'm saying that I would like... What I would like to have seen is the process of Uzi learning how to get her wings and tail to come back out. Because, like, we went from her having them, like, obviously because she first transformed. And then, you know, when... They and in uh and in Uzi like was or Uzi was about to crash to the ground and, and caught her and stuff. Her wings and tail were gone. But I kind of would have liked to have seen like how she would get them to come back out, because from what we had seen, she had to enter like oil thirsty mode and stuff and go feral for them to come out. So it'd been kind of interesting to see how she would have been able to get them come out like neutrally, because like in episode six, that was another thing I was wondering too, like how. How does she learn to get her wings and tail to come out without being, like, going feral? 
but like, I'm not complaining. It's just something I would, it's a detail I wish we could see. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not complaining at all. Toss you off and let your instincts do the rest. Wait, and... and Yeet! <laughs> Fly, little baby bird. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what? Her shaking, the poor little grape. Oops. Uh, let's try a different approach. <laughs> poor little... <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. Booting up. Ultra cool montage. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I was half expecting V to have glasses. Angel of Death, anyone? What are you gonna do? How's that supposed to show her how to fly? Oh my god. Oh, this scene with N doing his, like a, a flight attendant? Not a flight attendant, an era. I forgot what they're called. They direct the planes. You can do it, Izzy. Oh my god, V has a freaking light on her her head. <laughs> oh. oh, he caught her. I love how N, even though he's unconscious, is still smiling. Oh, are you, are you giggling, V? Are you laughing? She's gonna hide it, isn't she? No, never mind. She didn't. Okay. <laughs> Already, this is the kind of development we need to see between these three f before episode five. Activating speed booster. Did you put rock? Oh. Wait, what? Are you gonna like. This is like a kite. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was a question mark! Oh my god, it's Bob Ramsey! <laughs> V's face! V's face! No, not the bald Uzi! <laughs> ah, no! Oh, he swapped their hairs! No, this should be. No, nah, if they were ever gonna put like a bald, like show the drones being bald, this would have been so cute. Like, and having her hair and her having his hair, that would have been. S not. And it would have been cute too, is if. Uh, I mean, okay, it's cute that she has his hair and she's got her beanie on, but it would've been kind of funny, unless N, did he mix him up? But if it would've been cute if, like, he had her beanie, because I'm honestly curious on what N would look like with her beanie and what she looked like with his hat. <laughs> of course, V, we taking a selfie. Look at the two of them hugging. This is so freaking cute. But I'm, I'm waiting for the drama to hit. I know we're not done with the drama. Oh, there's the frame of... of them hold their tail, like Uzi's tail holding on it ends, uh, vile. The sucking sounds. Totally solid flying lesson plan, check mark. Tackle Uzi's fear of heights. Build Uzi's flying confidence, question mark. Act like I knew what I'm doing. <laughs> make Uzi happy. Aww. The bottom one, make Uzi happy. I think we're good to do your first flying test. Her little sippy oil. Are you ready? Yes, the V and Uzi div character growth too. Relationship growth. Oh, I'm gonna have so much to say. And not the falling for you music. Born ready. Yep. They got rings too? What in the windmill? Calculating rotor speed, finding passage. Yeah, Dang. You got this. Go, go, go. Go, emo girl, go. <laughs> I, I I mean, I'm glad to see, like, like V implemented the flag. Like, V using her flag. I feel like that was not implemented enough. Like, we got it once in the pilot and never again. And I feel like that that's a missed opportunity for some comedy with that. The skeleton's just... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Tessa in the background... Part, part, pardon me? Is that, is that Rebecca in the front left with the like claws coming out of the half visor? And then you got, I think that's, uh, is it Emily? Um, that's in the back with the ponytails. The one that she like tore her head off and stuff. That's Tess in the background though. 
Uh-oh. 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 Oh, here comes drama. Right. And looks so scared. Didn't really stick to the landing. <sighs> She's not getting up. Uzi! Uzi! And here comes the drama. Oh, God. Hey! You good? <laughs> Uzi? I don't think so. You're... Oh, God! The crap! Surprise, can you? And get away from her! Yeah, and this is gonna trigger me. I'm right here. And I'm not leaving you. It's gonna be okay. Can you hear me? Oh, fight. Oh. The chase. Ooh, that shot. That was a nice shot. That's a nice shot, too. That's a scary shot. Oh, okay. Playtime's over? Fun time's over? <laughs> oh. Ooh, the threat de Ah, wait, wait, wait. Threat detected, initiate neutralization protocol. He's not gonna do it, though. We need to blast her. What? We can't- <laughs> V's just bluntness. We have to blast her. <laughs> As long as she'll be okay. I'll get her down here and you deal the final blow. Got it? That doesn't sound very good when you say I'll deal the final blow. Good. Now with that said... Oh, the two of them working in. Storming. Oh. Oh, we're seeing the two of them go merge on mode. Okay, I'm not against this. Oh, don't you do the binary code again. I'm gonna pinch you. <laughs> What is that? No! Wait, I can't even- I don't think I can even read the full thing either. That's a- that's a good shot though. Right there, but... What is the- I'm not gonna be able to read that full thing. Mm, it's not full enough. I don't think I can. Unless it zooms out, which I don't think it will. But it's nice to see the two of them, like, work together. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. We're getting- okay. Hold up, hold up. Okay. So, I'm not gonna be able to translate the full thing, but let me see this. Let me just translate, like, half. Um, actually, will I even be able to? I'm pretty sure most of this is the same. No, that's not fully, so it's not... I think it's four in total you could fit. I don't... I... It might be random. I don't think it is, but it's kind of hard to do when some of it's like cut off around the edges and stuff. Uh, I could try like maybe starting with one. I don't know what it could be. I actually don't know unless there's like a better. It it, it probably does mean something, but I don't. I I uh, yeah. I need to be able to see the full thing. Target lock. The heart. Was that, was that a heart? I just, oh my god, the heart. Asterisk with the heart. Him not be able to shoot her. This just reminds me of episode 7 when he aimed at her. Except there was no heart. It was just, you couldn't do it. And. Was that a hammer you just made? Oh, you got the claws now. Invades your personal space. Invades your personal space. There's so much binary code here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to translate it. Fatality! Oh my God, V! Is this where V snaps? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I honestly would have paid to see. Okay, we saw. I mean, okay. I'm saying we should have seen the two girls go at it, but they kind of did in episode four with. But Uzi like pretty much bodied V. But I would love to see like no holds bar like V and Uzi going at it with Silver. But now we're not. I really doubt where we are. But yeah. <laughs> hey, even Solver was he's like, you're good. <laughs> you are done. Uh oh. Well, we went from like V being like, okay, I'm gonna try to uh, help you bring, you know, get two uh, two goody shoes, good goody two shoes. I'll get it right, goody two shoes. 
goth girl or emo girl back, but now she's just like, oh no, no holds bar now, bitch. <laughs> oh, and you're gonna have to get between the two of them, aren't you? Oh no. Well. Just one shot. Come on. She moves too fast and smoke. Critical error, optics damage, cardiac hardware aches. I'm not gonna lie, this is like really good fighting scene considering. <laughs> this is, I wish we had this in the show. Like don't get me wrong, it's the episode seven fights were insane and great, but yeah. This is really good too. Headshot. Yeah, I was gonna say she's got the solver, so she will grow her. She'll regrow her head just like you two do. Which, uh, honestly, if we had had this prior to episode seven, it would have made episode seven seem kind of weird that N couldn't, you know, shoot her in the head, considering that she could just regrow her head back. So it would have actually. I feel like actually this would have been a good lead up to like. Like, and being able to shoot her in the head and that she grows her back in episode 7, I feel like it would have been more like if he tried to shoot her in the core to put her down down. That's where he couldn't do it. System restored. What happened? Kind of got your head blown off. N? Oh, thank God. What the hell? The babies. Ooh. What? Tell me I didn't. V, no! Go to hell! That's not helping, V! Stop! Stop! I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's okay. tail frown. Uzi, come back! Is this where the feels come in? Oh, he's mad. Why did you do that? And we did things your way. And it didn't work. So now we're doing things my way. You can't kill her. She didn't mean to go crazy because she's our friend. She's your friend. You're all I got, and I'm not risking that for some stupid worker. I'm taking her out, whether you like it or not. Wait! No, you can't! Ooh. Ooh. Crap. Profanity! I'm sorry. <laughs> that would be the. I feel like if there were any scene where N would swear, it would be like this kind of moment. And that'd be it. The only time he'd swear. Crap, 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 crap. A few crap, times. Crap. I gotta find Uzi before she does. I don't think she will. I don't think. Because I think we're gonna get more Uzi and V development, so. And I think. This is where Uzi or V maybe sees herself in Uzi, because that's what I really would like to see in the show too. Or I've wanted to see. And we still got like at least five, six minutes, I think. I'm not gonna lie, V is pretty scary in this. This is so good. Also getting to see the inside of the buildings. All the tail. She's seeing herself when she was in the solar form. Optics restored. She's gonna see you see. Oh, she's got the hand just like getting cut off. She's gonna show her how to. Oh. Oh, not the splat noise, oh god. Also, is it, is it freaking, is it my fire detector that's beeping or is there something in this? Is 
it is my fire detector. I was like, well, I'm like, is that freaking in the episode or is it in my room? I'm going to lose it if, if this thing beeping. Hold on. I'm going to actually have to take care of this. Hold on. Okay. I think we're good. I think it's, I, I have officially, uh, put down the, the fire detector for now. <laughs> so it won't be beeping. I hope it hasn't been beeping for too long through this. The head, Pat. And so worried about her too. Hey. All the tears in his eyes. <laughs> Hugs them both. I kind of know how to fly now, which is super cool. Mm. As for the messed up stuff in my head. Uh... At this point, why not just try to kindly ask for your inner demons to leave you alone? Kindly ask your inner demons to leave you alone. I mean. <laughs> I guess kindly asking could work. Judging by Ed's logic, that should totally work. <laughs> We're back to being a diva now. You know, at least he's trying to help me. <laughs> he's messing with things he doesn't understand. We're messing with things we don't understand. Uh, Why can't you get that to I think V needs a hug. Fred, we can't fix you. We barely know how to deal with ourselves. How the hell are we supposed to help you? Hmm. Try having this be your entire life. I barely remember anything about what life was like before. It's oh. almost your mind. It'll make you feel crazy, but being crazy is the only way for you to feel normal because everyone will see you as crazy no matter what you do. Just... Is this kind of like, like if this was canon, this would be honestly a great way to, like a great reason why V acts psychotic and crazy is because she goes, you know, no one else is going to see it, but no one else is going to see it that way. N okay. How do I word this? N everyone is going to see you that way anyway. So why not embrace it? Why not act like that? It's kind of like if somebody believes you're the villain, it's like, fine. Why don't I start acting like one kind of well, thing? You're just screwed. So why would it even matter? Yeah. Why even care when you could just no, nah, the eye wink, just like like when the first the pilot where she went like that. That's actually gr a great callback. Nani. Also, what was the visor thing? Error. Emotional repression. Firewall breach. Contact administrator. P N Sin M Y A. Ah. Oh. Uh, I, this whole firewall emotional repression thing, actually, I love it. Like, I love this so much because uh, I was writing a fanfic of my take on episode seven, eight, if it was the, like, if that was going to be the finale of um, Murder Drones. And there's a scene where I have V, like, start to get emotional, but, like, for it, this pops, this kind of thing pops up where it says, uh, it's like emotional, uh, not emotional repression, but it was uh, something, I did something similar where it was like a firewall. Uh, I'm not gonna go look for it, but it's like emotional firewall activate or something like that, and have her like repress that again. And it's like I love that B did this because I feel like this would legit happen with V because she's obviously like there's so much to I mean there's so much to every each character in this series, but especially with V and like N and Uzi and I think I don't know so much with J because J seems very kind of linear where with her personality where it's just very like work ethic, you know, yes, boss, okay, boss. Like the closest thing I think we get for depth for her, we could have had depth. Um, but the closest thing we got with depth for Jay right now, canon wise, is her relationship with Tessa. And now that Tessa's been confirmed to be dead, what that could implicate, like if Jay isn't aware of that. But other than that, for the canon characters, the way the show is right now, like V, I mean, I'm like 99% certain V is alive. I don't think she's dead. Uh, so it would be V and an Uzi would have the deepest emotional like stuff they could delve into. But V had a lot of potential, uh, especially with this kind of stuff, like her personality being very like, again, psychotic and like, ha, I'm crazy. But it's like, this really shows like, I think it's just a facade 
for the most part. Or, like, she's say, looking at it as, you know what, they only see you as crazy, so why not be that way? And it's just, mm, I'm a, oh, God, I love this so much. She's so tired, too. The hug. Yes, give me a hug. She needs a You seem like you need it. Loading. Wait. Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that prior after right after the the exclamation mark? Was there something there? I swear what the f wait 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 what? The what the f wait? <laughs> wait, you said barely. Oh. In... oh, is this where is this where it's going to lead to episode 5? We have a lead. Huh? Is this where N brings up the tape? The root to all this robo vampires and BS. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in Elders wasn't mentioned, but, you know, that is so great. One problem, though, our memories are mush, remember? Mush. <laughs> <laughs> what was that evil laugh that Ghost did? <laughs> like, that was so... Oh, my God. That. I honestly would die. Like, I love, I love the voice actors. For this but at the same time i would honestly love it if we could take like some scenes of this and actually have like michael elsie and nola like voice like especially like this kind of scene or even like the emotional scenes like, i would love it if they could voice that like i don't know i mean freaking what digital circus crew or cast just literally did a like uh did a what was it not a point and click but they did they played like a digital circus game and they literally voiced the lines through it for like two hours i feel like then the murder drones cast could do the same thing and oh my god if they could like voice this entire episode or at least certain scenes from it oh that'd be so great <laughs> that won't be a problem for me <laughs> if you even still a ghost doesn't have, like i love the like evil giggle like cackle like <laughs> like it's so good my head open, yours will be rolling on the floor next. Uh, oh no, another empty threat. Admit it, you found a nano spark of warmth in your heart. Nano spark. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she can fly. Oh, that's a perfect way to end it. That she knows how to fly. You're flying. We did it. We did it. A little smile from me. <laughs> Nah, The two goobers. <laughs> mm. God will now know fair! <laughs> I'm airborne suckers! I'm airborne suckers. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect way to end it. Alright, I know there's like an ending to this. Okay, so directed storyboard and written by B. So, oh, okay, so Ghost did help with co-writing. So again, whoever, whoever did the details of like the visors and stuff. Great job. Loved it. Loved it. I wish we got more visors. Stuff. Like there's so much creative uh there's so much opportunity for creative ideas with their visors and stuff like i know we've gotten some things like you know the whole when n and uzi in episode six were communicating with their visors and stuff um but i feel like there's so much more they could have done like what's what uh was done in this episode or in this animatic and it's just uh tomato sauce is n ghost is uzi dormant and sin and then b also b was v i completely forgot about that lead background artist Oh, wow. Okay. Background art support, being ghosts, music work. Oh, okay, so... Oh, so you actually got, like... I thought you, like, grabbed a... I thought, I thought you guys grabbed, like, a... Like, you know, copyright-free music or... Mu uh, what do they call it? Yeah, like, copyright-free copyright -free music from online. I didn't know you actually got... Um, somebody, you got people to actually make music for the series. Bravo. I was expecting that. So you got Dire Reflection, Baby Bird Uzi, oh, that's a cute name. Wake Up Call, Bonding With You. Nah, it's a, Bonding With You, that's totally not a callback to Falling For You with question marks. Okay, that's really good. That's, that's good. Oh lord, oh lord, she creeping. <laughs> I feel like this could, that like, 
gosh, this feels like literally it could have been made by uh, people who work who work on Murder Jones, the actual series. Okay, so you add three art, uh, music artists, huh? You can do it. Wait, no, not that. Please stop. <laughs> Let the class begin. Want to fly? I understand now. Oh, you got four people. Bat versus bat versus dog and cat. Yep, we'll figure it out together. Oh, not the together thing for the end. Also, that I find that actually really fitting because you know how together has been like N and Uzi's thing, but with the ending being like a combination of like. Envy and Uzi like together becomes more of like the trio not just an N and Uzi thing which don't get me wrong I love the whole together thing with N and Uzi but I really feel like with Envy and Uzi it's like the musketeers the three musketeers like that's the kind of bond they could have had or we could have been shown uh so yeah five people go to hell please help I'm stuck behind this profile picture it's been two days <laughs> that's funny thumbnail by anime yeah I have stuff to, I, I, plus trust me, this is gonna be a quite long reaction, not just, I have quite a bit to say. Special thanks to Alan Wan. Thank you for being my cheerleader. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for believing in me when the idea of completing this seemed crazy. Your students are so lucky to have you as a professor. Never doubt that I had the fire to finish this because I had you in my corner. I'm grateful to have been a part of your class and I hope I made you proud. So Alan Wan is the one that was, I'm guessing, was B's teacher. I, I, that's awesome that he was that supportive. And like, I, I remember B mentioning, I think on Twitter, that she showed Alan, um, like, the, at, like, at, at the point it, the project was at and that he was very impressed and everything. So that's awesome that he was supporting B and like, rooting her on and stuff. Like, that's what teachers should be. Um, that's awesome. There's still a little bit, there's quite a bit more. So I'm so curious what else is gonna be said. Oh, it's B's VTuber model. Hey, B. It's my birthday. <laughs> Wait, did you, B, did you post this on your birthday? Did you? Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Putting it together and I can't believe it's actually finished. <laughs> huh. I, I for real didn't think I was going to get it done. <laughs> I'm glad you did. And I think the fandom I, is too. Some animation thing for the longest time. <laughs> Not only are you a part of it, you're you're the lead of this one. And I got to work with plenty of friends too. The I'm music really and dramatic. Happy <laughs> that I was able to do it. Animated thing hosting yep. uh Murder Drones Insecurity. I believe he's the, uh that is so me when I'm trying to remember stuff. It's like uh meeting he's hiding himself with Holy crap, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and Xander Russell hosting Murder Drone Strays. Yeah. I've heard yes, of yes, Strays. Yes. Yeah. I need to check that out too. Murder Drone Strays and, hum and a human civilization which induces drone fights for entertainment. But what lies huh. within the beat. So definitely check that out. And, I have to check um, out Strays. If you want to help, this these projects are driven by people who um, have the same passion as me and yeah. are making this just for fun. Just for the fun of it. And it, they're really freaking cool. So. Yeah, I would I, I would also call out there's a. Uh, uh, other than animated thing in, um, or I don't want to say animation because that's literally what I'm watching right now. <laughs> but uh, insecurity, other than insecurity and strays, uh, there's two other projects that I would like to mention, which is, uh, oh, I need to look up the names. But uh, one of them is, which I actually started watching myself, is, is the Fear of Hungry plus Control. It's a comic that is made by Nixa Lin. Um, she both draws, like she does everything as well as voices all the characters in the comic dub. Uh, it's good. Um, there's also another one. Um, I'm trying to think. It's by it's by the artist Clockleaf. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, for some reason it's not loading Clockleaf's channel, but yeah, Clockleaf is also making a great uh, Murder Drones project and has on is working on part three. There, uh, she's already on. She's working on part three. Or part one and two are out. Um, and so those are the two projects I would recommend, other than just like okay, I'll say this: Insecurity, in my opinion, by animated thing is the best uh, 3D, like the closest to like the actual show in terms of like the animation and stuff like animate animate does an insane job on the 3d 
and it's the closest to the actual show. Um, and I know his uh, the episode that he's working on or his project that he's working on is like his take on I think not the pilot. It's on like the work. It's on it's it's on the worker defense force, the uh, WDF. Um, and like if they actually were geared to take on the murder drones and everything, and I believe it's gonna have N and V in it. I'm not sure if Jay is gonna be in it. Uh, meanwhile, Strays I have not checked out yet. I do plan on checking it out. But like other than these two projects, uh, I definitely highly recommend you guys to check out a uh, Clock Leaves project, um, and then uh, the Comic Dub project that I mentioned uh, by Nick Sullivan. Um, yeah, let me continue listening to what BS say. <laughs> And, uh, I just want to call them out. If you want to help the team, or shout them out. Reach out to them. As for murder drones, and real quick, I'll also put I'll put a link to I'll put a link to inter I'll put a link for intermission, uh, insecurity, strays, uh, clock leaves project as well as Nixon Lens projects. I'll put them all in the description as well as I'll honestly probably pin a comment as well. So please check them out. Please 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 check them out. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> And thank you to my brother who did backgrounds, who did amazing. Oh, what's Beast back thank you so brother? Much. Hmm. My brother uh, doesn't even freaking watch the show, but oh. still did the backgrounds anyway. You did a great job. Which I was the passion put in this project is so palpable, and I'm so yeah, grateful you can feel for it. everyone's help. I really am. I not the <laughs> falling for the music again. I I don't even know. I'm really happy that I did Are you going to start crying? And I worked with the people that I did. And I, I want to do more like this. I want to do more like this. Yeah. I would uh, love to see more projects by you being right now, everyone else. I need to take a fat break. Yeah, you deserve break. one, girl. Oh, my God. Your girl needs to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Six months of this. I felt this much joy from creating something in yeah. a very long time. The fact that I got this done on my birthday was so ideal. It's like a milestone. Oh, so she did get it done on her birthday. Wow. It's a milestone. That's like perfect. I'm 22, by the way. Huh. 22. Dos, dos. Dos, dos. <coughs> you good? <laughs> also, because it hates me. Because it oh. hates me. Yay. So, Welcome to YouTube. Um, B will put a Google Drive. She freaking better i'm doing it right now leave me alone you bug <laughs> can take the episode dub it over and re-upload it that's yeah. a smart idea honestly just make one without like any of the voice lines in it just the audio like the background noise and the music and then people can dub with that that's great also i will say this for the record because i know that it's probably going to start some problems if i don't I is she gonna mention reactions i am okay with people re-uploading the episode the fan episode if it's for dubbing reasons and if they credit my team properly, I am okay with okay. that. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I'm so glad. Like I, 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 like if B doesn't mention anything that's about reactions, I'm so glad I got her permission because I, I wanted to do that because I, I feel bad with like projects like this if I react to it because I know most of the time people want you to leave like the full reaction or unedited reaction, even though I'm still gonna edit this down because I'm not gonna just upload the full reaction so people could just see it for you know. <laughs> technically see the episode without uh any edits cuts or anything like that uh but yeah i'm going to go rest now for a you while you do that do that little b <laughs> you need your rest after all that yeah six I'm, months work geez. i'm gonna go rest because i i think i i think i need it <laughs> i would I, I, I hope you guys like it i hope you guys love it. enjoyed it i loved it you. did an amazing job you and your team bye, -bye. Thank you for the support. See you when I wake up. <laughs> oh. That was that was great. That was awesome. That was awesome. Let me just pick a frame. I feel like honestly the perfect frame is the ending one with the three of them. I just want the three of them. There we go. This is honestly this is honestly wait no. There we go. That's a good one. That's that's a good one to no. I need to be on my thoughts. What am I saying? But again, this is like a perfect culmination. I'm probably gonna need my. Eh, I don't want to spoil anything for the for the animatic, so I might not use that as the thumbnail. But um, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. All right. Well, that was the uh, Murdones intermission of fan episode animatic, and that was. 
Uh, I kudos, tip my hat, bravo, B, you and your team did a fantastic job. Uh, everyone who worked on it, from the musicians to the voice actors to like B is the animator and Ghost helped with the, I think the storyboards of was or part of it. Um, amazing job, amazing job. Like the fact that this is a, a fan made. Like, and it was made in six months. Like, this is something I honestly, like, I understand it's an animatic, so it's not as, it's still a ton of work, but it's not, like, because I know, what was it, people were comparing uh, Animate's thing to this, and I'm like, I could see where, like, I know Animate is taking a very long time for his episode, but it's understandable because, like, he's doing, he's using Blender, I believe, and animatic and an animation, like, what, what Animate's doing is different. Animatics are more like, typically, there's less in between frames when you're doing an animatic, so it's not as much time. Versus like, if it was fully animated, or if it was like what animates doing, where it's uh, 3D, where you have to do every like movement. Um, but still, this is an insane amount of work. Like, especially for mainly B is the one that did the animating, so for one person to pretty much be doing it, like, if B hadn't had the help of like her brother and like a uh, ghost and like other uh like the musicians and stuff if b had to do this all on her own i'm sure this would have been like a year and a half project so um i'm honestly surprised that it took only six months um i thought it was gonna take longer so i'm so happy it's out and i'm so glad that it's getting the views it's getting and stuff and i honestly i pray i hope i don't know if they have yet but i really hope glitch and liam see this um, cause, uh, yeah, um, like I said, as I was watching, I, I definitely have my thoughts on stuff, uh, on certain things, but let me read the description in the video. Uh, when Uzi finds herself plagued by the horrors of her new oil lust and sets up a day of fun to quail her worries, a story of understanding. And I think that, that it really is. This is an episode of understanding between, it's an under, especially for V and Uzi, it's an understanding of V finally seeing Uzi. God, and this is such a, this is such a perfect tie-in, like, Honestly, this just okay. I don't want to go on it yet, but let me just read the rest of it. Thumbnail by animated thing. Murder Jones intermission is a bridge episode, as acting as a thread between Cabin Fever and Home. I am not affiliated with Glitch Productions. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just a fan with too much audacity. Well, you know what, B, keep having the audacity, and I hope more of the fandom gets your kind of audacity, because that's what this fandom needs. <laughs> and I love seeing. This kind of stuff, uh, this project was a labor of love. The show means so much to me, and I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to make this with a team of people who believed in what I was trying to do. The passion Princess up us into this is palpable, and I'm happy I get to share this with the community. I hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, it definitely, you could feel the love in every frame of this, and the music, and the voice acting, you know. And I think that's amazing that this Murder Drones is a series that's, like, garnered this kind of fandom. Like, don't get me wrong, there's bad apples in it, but that's every, any fandom. Um, any fandom, every fandom has bad apples. Um, but there's usually very talented people in fandoms, and Murder Drones definitely has them. Like, I've seen many of them, and B is one of them. Uh, at least artist-wise, and even, like, even fanfic writers, like, the fanfics I've read, there's some that, where the writing is just insane, is great, even better than, honestly, in my opinion, the show writers, in a lot of way. Um, and I'll get into that with even the animatic. Um, but, yeah, this, uh, this dessert, I hope this hits a million views or more. Because this is as good, if not better, than, uh, some of the episodes of the actual series. I'll be honest, this, uh, if this was a canon episode, this would honestly be my favorite episode of the series. Just because you get so much character growth. And it's something that is so, so desperately needed in the actual series that I was hoping that this episode, like, I hope, I was hoping this animatic would do this. And it did it in Ace of Spades. Hands down, like, it, it, it kind of, it makes me sad because it really shows how deep these characters could get and how much more there was because, uh, you know, this is supposed to be a bridge between episode four and five. And I feel like we're probably too late to even explore this kind of situation in Murder Drones. And especially with episode eight being B 
being possibly the final episode of the series from what Glitch has said. Um, I have been saying since I did my, uh, I have been saying since I did my Things I Noticed video on episode, I think it was, was it four? Was it four? I've been feeling since around then that this series needs, needs to have explored more on how first, like, it, we needed more explanation on how Uzi, like, from episode three to episode four. I think that's, the things I felt were missing from the series was episode three, episode four. I felt like we needed to see Uzi learning how she, to use her solver powers. Because, you know, there's this, she's got this virus and she's obviously worried about it. And now it's fully manifest and it's now something that can block bullets and stuff. So what is this thing? And we skip from that right into episode four, where now all of a sudden... She's really, like, once her emotions get really out of whack with her, so, you know, her abandonment issues and stuff, and she has the breakdown and everything, and then she goes, solve her Uzi. Um, then we, we miss from episode four to five, we completely miss, like, you know, how do we go from and having the tape, the zombie drones tape, to all of a sudden we're in his memories. Are we in both V and N's memories? Like, how did V end up unconscious? Like, hello? What? What, where was the bridge of in between? And also, like, we really should have seen more of a side effect of Uzi having killed her classmates and stuff. Like, I felt like we should have delved into that. Like, I know this series has been very, like, brushed past the after effects of things. Like, N being a genocidal robot, that was brushed over. Because, you know, oh, we don't want to spend time on that. And it's like, but we should, like, the series has felt very rushed. And I've talked about this on my live streams and stuff. And even after, after episode 7 originally aired or released, I talked about it where it feels like the series is being rushed. And it shouldn't be a series that's rushed because I feel like these characters in this world and this story has so much opportunity to go on for a while and be explored that for it to be cut down the way it has or what it feels like it has and the, for the pacing to be, feel so rushed, it's a shame. And... This animatic alone shows what we could have gone in just one episode. One episode what we could have gone. You didn't have to delve into... You didn't have to go through multiple episodes to show, oh, the turmoil of V with Uzi and how and that kind of stuff. Or Uzi learning how to fly. Or Uzi dealing with the after effects of killing her classmates. And, you know, Uzi with her wings and stuff. We didn't have to do this over a course of multiple episodes even. Just one episode could have solved that. But we didn't get it. We haven't gotten it. And, you know, this alone, the, the, the development in, in this fan episode, like, it hit everyone. You got Uzi development. You got an, an Uzi, you know, Newsy development. You got, um, you got V and Uzi development. You got V and N development. Like, it just hit every single one of them. And... I'll be honest, it would have made V's death hit way harder. Like, for me, personally, I wasn't super, like, I wasn't very attached to V until episode 6. Episode 6 is where we finally start to see her character growth. Like, she gets development. Like, she starts, we see her, like, after, um, you know, after Bo sacrifices himself to save V. And then V, um, like, the Sentinels get sucked up by the Null. Like, you see the way she looks at Uzi. Like, she feels bad for Uzi, and it's like, oh, you're like me. We sh like, <sighs> that's all we got. And then we get her, you know, carrying Uzi on her back, like, almost like a big sister kind of thing. And before we even get a chance to really see that develop further, she's taken away. Like, we leave it off with the Sentinels possibly killing her. and Or with the presumption that she's dead. And it's like, so we finally start to get some kind of element for V, and she's gone. And it just feels like if we had had this kind of episode prior to episode 5 and 6, yeah, I probably would have cried when V died. Um, but instead, I was just like, oh, I'm more upset at the loss of potential of this character. Like, we were starting to see development for her, and now she's just gone. Before we even got really any, like much development. Um... So it's more of a loss of a potential character, a great character versus like this would have been like 
if we had had this fan episode and then episode six, it would have been, we lost a great character. Like we've seen her relationship develop with Uzi and how they're almost like sisters now. And I don't know, like, I feel like another one, like I know B said that she would like to explore further projects, but she's going to rest. One of the projects I would love to see in the future, if not done by V, but by someone else in the fandom, would be a bridge gap between, would be a almost like a redone version of episode five, because episode five to me should not have been a single episode. I feel like it should have been a two to three episode part or like arc where um, we saw more into the uh, lives of N, V, and J, and Tessa before the solver, like Sin with the solver really, like shit hit the fan. Um, but it was compacted into the single episode and it felt like too much. It felt like too much. Like, I feel like it should have been a three part episode and the first episode could have began where we see how, let's say, let's say it would have carried on with N, you know, like they're trying to find a lead in the solver thing and N goes, oh, there's this tape I found. Well, let's say N, V, and Uzi sit down to watch it. Well, N and V end up going unconscious because it triggers that me that program in their in their CPU or programming, and they go unconscious. Well, that then leads into Uzi trying to figure out how to access and get in there and stop the program. But meanwhile, we see what the memories are of N, V, and J, and all of them, and that kind of stuff. And we get like an episode, like the rest of the episode is of that. And then maybe at the end of episode one, we see Uzi figure out a way to get in. And then episode two is Uzi trying to figure out ways to communicate with N and or V or N and V. And then that's for episode two. And then by the end of episode two, Uzi has finally been able to communicate with N kind of thing. And then part three is where stuff starts happening, where the sin with the solver starts uh, doing like what she does in episode five with the, you know, you start seeing writings on the walls and you start like, Sin with the, you know, with the interaction with Tessa in her room with, you know, if, I won't discard your, uh, you won't have to discard your pets and I will not discard you. Like, we could have gotten that sequence and then the, the gala thing going down and all that stuff and that could have been the end for episode three and that would have been the end of that arc. Like that, and it would have been great. But instead it was compacted so much and Uzi honestly felt like she kind of didn't belong there for the most part because she was like thrown in really fast. A lot of it was just rushed and it was just like it felt off. Um, but yeah, the, God, the, like I both, I absolutely, like, like I said, I absolutely love this. Part of my favorite fan project. And honestly, I wish this was canon. God, do I wish this was canon. I wish this was an episode in the series because it would be my favorite. Like I said, uh, cause it actually, it actually lets the characters breathe like it lets it lets the story breathe and it lets the pacing breathe and we get character development and it's just we get newsy development like you see how they grow closer and stuff and how you know he also still like when she starts first turns he goes i'm still here i've got you like it that's it he's following through with what he said in episode four with you know we'll handle this together you know i'm here i won't leave you and it's just, God, there's just so much opportunity with these characters and stuff. And I, I don't know how episode eight's going to go down. Uh, but I personally feel they're not going to be able to wrap this up in a satisfying way in a single episode. And there's just so much. And even it, I don't think they will be able to wrap it up well. And because there's just so much potential this series and the characters have. Like, I, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of the fandoms hoping for a season two. And it's not because, I know some people will respond with, or retort with, well, that's just because you guys want more of the characters and stuff. And it's like, I personally don't. If a series is written well, the pacing's good, and the characters have gotten good development, like it's a satisfying series and it comes to a conclusion a single season, I'm fine. I don't need more. Will I be sad? Sure. Will I want more of the characters? Sure. It would have been nice. Because I love the characters so much, I would like to see more of them. But if the story and everything is done well, I don't need it to continue. The only reason why I really want there to be a season two for Murder Jones is because these characters feel, it feels like this char these characters in the story have more to tell. 
like there's more development to be done for sure there's more to be like explained explored like the solver to me feels like a sentient black hole like it, it this is the thing that consumes possibly universes or planets maybe trying to become something that consumes universes there's a lot of opportunities here for this thing and and it feels like it's being if episode 8 is the final it feels like it's being cut off way too soon I don't know. It feels like if it was Star Wars, but if Star Wars just had one movie <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I, oh God. Like, I, uh, these are thoughts that I was mainly saving for after Murder Drones ends. If it does end with episode eight, these were kind of like my thoughts I was saving for it. So I, there's more I would like to say, more I would like to talk about, like go deeper into like the characters themselves, like each one. But I will just say for this, Again, amazing job, B and Ghost and uh, and Tomato Juice and, and you know everyone. Else. Oh, also another thing I wanted to bring up. I it was brought to my attention or not brought to my attention, but I saw B had tweeted. I haven't been on Twitter lately. I, I like caught up on my Twitter feed and then like literally left like for two weeks and then drama happened for like I don't know. I feel like I can't leave the Murder Jones fandom for like a week without drama happening. But like I know not long after. Uh, intermission came out I guess people started attacking animated thing and saying that the thumbnail looked uh AI uh like looked like it was done by AI and I'm sorry but what what is here let me so it don't look like all shadowed out what is wrong with people in like they it reminds me of episode seven when people saw the thumbnail for episode seven they're like oh it looks like AI did it why are people so stuck on AI like I'm gonna go back uh let me see. I need the thumbnail. Okay, here. I'm gonna have to go back to my... Uh, actually, no. Can I... Okay, you know what? I'll put it over my screen. Um, or I'll put it over the edit. Uh, the edited version of this. But let me go find... Uh, I need to find... Uh... Gosh darn it. Uh, Halloween. I need to find B. Where are you? Uh, B, B, B. There you are. Okay. I need to find because she said it. Where is it? Uh, I love all the artwork coming out for this too. Like every so many so many artists in the community or the fandom are like redrawing like scene like frames from it from the from the animatic and I'm absolutely loving it. It's so good. I'm so I'm so glad that it's getting the attention because it deserves it. <laughs> so you want people to talk about Voozy? All you gotta do is make a fan episode. Just spend six months and a thousand dollars, thousand dollars for this pairing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it's funny. Like I'm a diehard newsy shipper. But I also like Vuzi. I also like um, Pass Envy. I wouldn't say Current Envy because with the way the story has gone, Envy to me is toxic if, it, if they got together. Uh, but yeah, I love Pass Envy. I love Vuzi. And I also love, uh, well, Vuzi is just my favorite, absolute favorite. But yeah, like seeing the scenes between Vuzi uh, and V is just, I loved it. Like the two, whether they were like actual romantic, but like, at least as sisters, there, they, there was potential there. There was potential there for them to be like sisters. And I feel like there still could be, but um, anyway, I'm trying to find, uh, where is it? I have to freaking go to B's Media and find it. Where was it? Is it here? No. Where was the thumbnail? I know I saw it. I literally went on a rant on this on my stream this week. It was past weekend. Uh, was it here? Ah, here it is. So, I'll put it I'll, again. I'll put it over. I'll put it over this. Um, but this thumbnail, done by animated thing, I guess got flooded by UTT people and also people saying that it looked like it was done by AI, which is ridiculous to me. And the reason why they thought it was done by AI is because of N's coat clipping through his uh 
his leg. And I'm like, you people do realize that clipping happens in the actual series, right? There are so many times where hands and clothes, like in the pilot alone, ends coat clips through his legs multiple times. Like, even in episode six, uh, freaking, um, uh, I believe it was Uzi's hand is like when they're sitting on that like lamp thing. I think her hand, it was either her hand or En's hand or like clipping through the bottom of the lamp or whatever they're sitting on. And even in episode seven, there is a moment where En's sword, like when he was leaning on it after cutting Tessa or Tessin's head off, um, his sword is like glitched through his body. Like there are major errors in the series on its own, but, but, oh, I'm sorry. There's a clipping, there's a, his coat is clipping through his leg in a thumbnail and all of a sudden it's AI. Get over it. Like, it's not AI. Like, I think he, it's the hands that give away AI. Because AI, for some reason, can't do hands very well. Can't blame it. I don't do hands well either. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's how you usually tell whether it's AI art or not. Is whether the hands are messed up. And the hands are perfectly fine here. So the only thing is the clipping. And it's like, that's perfectly fine. Like, seriously, you guys? Uh, I don't know. The That's one thing I had to bring up that... The thumbnail that Animate made is amazing, and then the the OG render that B did that she sent to Animate was also adorable and amazing, and I would love to see it, like, colored and stuff on its own. Um, so, yeah, that, that's just something I had to bring up, because I just can't believe people were actually claiming it as AI. Just, in, ugh. Sometimes, you know, I love this fandom. I absolutely adore it. But there are some times where I just go... The, with some people it's uh, yeah but um anyway before this becomes like a two hour it's already an hour and a half reaction but before this becomes like a two hour unedited reaction um yeah overall plot 10 out of 10 characters 10 out of 10 animation it's not i wouldn't call it animated because it's not it's an animatic but for an animatic 10 out of 10, and even then, like, the fight scene, uh, the expressions, you know, the details of the visors, and, uh, also, I do, I did see something, I didn't notice it personally, but I did see somebody bring up, which I, I didn't notice, I, was, I think I was so caught up, and just, like, it may have been during the fight scene or something, but there was, like, a moment where I guess you could see, like, a, I actually want to find that real quick, there's a moment in it where you see Hatsune Miku, like, skull in the background, and I feel like if I watch it again, I'll notice it. Because it was during the snow scene. But was it actually here? No. I feel like I'll notice it once I go through. But because I wasn't fully, like, looking for details like that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I found it. That was easy. Uh, I'll just, put, again, I'll put it over this. But yeah, Hatsune Miku's skull is in the background. And uh, I love details like that. That that That's great. <laughs> in fact, it's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, overall, like I was saying, plot characters, the uh, animation, the music, all fantastic. I would say my favorite things are the plot and characters in the animation. Uh, music, I feel like some of it felt a little, like, I, this feels like, I feel like an asshole for saying this, but some of it felt a little, like, stocky. What do you call it? Like, you got it from a stock site. But at the same time, some of it felt perfect for the scenes. Like, I think, my, honestly, my favorite music was during the fight scene. Uh, and then the really emotional scenes. I think that's when the music was, like, my favorite. Um, even, okay, I would even say the montage music was not bad. Like, that felt like montage music, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, overall, once again, I know I've already said this, but B and Ghost and everyone else that worked on the team, amazing job. 100 out of 10. Um, I look forward to any projects you do in the future. Um... I wish I could say I could even, like, offer help with the future. Maybe funding-wise. If you need help with funding, I would be more than happy to do it. Uh, promotion, anything. Um, I don't want to offer voice work because I don't have confidence in my voice. But anything. Anything you need, think I could help with, I would be more than happy to. Because this is the kind of stuff, like, I said it to on my stream last week. Um, that if I was a millionaire... Projects like this are the kind, especially for this fandom in this series, because I absolutely adore murder drones. Um, I would fund them, and, like I would support and fund them, like for more of this kind of stuff, because this 
this is what this series needs and, is, and what this fan not the fandom needs but this is i don't know just um num this is like a this is like a five star gourmet meal for me <laughs> and i'm sure it is the rest of the fandom just from the reception alone but anyway yeah um those are my thoughts for it uh, i hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning afternoon night and keep bringing bright see ya